everyone, it's Simone. Here's a, a short little practice, I guess, that will help us to feel alive, stretch out our bodies, and get a little bit of vitality doing a little bit of yoga. So join me in whatever you will choose to wear, something comfy and cozy. If you've got a yoga mat or something that you can really move around on, that would also be great. So we're gonna start in our standing postures, putting our four corners of each foot onto the mat, and lift those toes and really put one toe down at a time. See if your ankles are below your kneecaps, kneecaps below your hip joints, hips below your shoulders, and really see if you can pull your head up like you're a puppet on the string. And just see if that lower back is taken care of by engaging your core, and really elongate the spine, bring your shoulders up to your ears and back down. Now just to get a little bit of movement, let's just bring the arms up to our center, and then let's lean over to our left, beautiful. Coming back up, leaning over to the right. Coming back up, let's just do that one more time on each side. Waking up your body, whatever you've been doing before this class or whatever you have planned afterwards, just allowing the gentle opener. So let's just hold it onto this second side and you can bring your hand up if you want to and give yourself a little bit of strength and see if you can bring your shoulders back but really engaging your core and having your hip points facing forward. Beautiful. Let's come over to the other side. Coming all the way over first, I like to drop my arm. Really get the position of the top palm, active arm, shoulder in the joint, and then bringing up the bottom arm if you'd like to get a bit of extra strength. Engaging the core, hip points to the front. Inhaling, exhaling. Beautiful. And then bringing both arms up and to the side. Now this time we're going to come up, it's going to be a little bit of a balance. Just watching and see my top back heels coming up. So if you can bring your back heels up and then coming down. Let's just do that three more times. It, sometimes it helps to find a spot on your floor or on your ceiling to focus on. And then coming down. Excellent. Just coming back up. And back down. And now this time, again, we're going to come up and see if we can add on that little side. So there's an extra balance, focus on that spot on the floor, coming up, coming over, coming up. How did you go with your balance? Coming down and all the way to the ground. Fantastic. Now, our last bit of balance before we start moving, let's bring up our left leg. Put your left heel, if you can, on your inner thigh and really push it into that inner thigh. If that's feeling a little bit awkward for you, you could always put it down here or even on the floor. But let's just see how you go, pushing that sole of your left foot into the, to the thigh, your right thigh, bringing your arms up and into your tree. Opening up your tree branches, bringing your shoulders back and down, neck is long, and pushing that knee as far away to the back of your loom. Engaging, opening up, and having that beautiful open tree. So when we balance, our bodies, we balance our mind. So whatever's going on for you right now, just focus on inhalation and exhalation. Every time you have a thought that's not serving you right now, just let it go like a cloud in your sky. Let your tree be firm and stable. Feel really rooted to the ground, being part of the universe feeling supported, nurtured, and one. Again, breathing in that feeling of support, exhaling as those clouds of nothingness that you need to worry about right now just go out of your horizon. Beautiful. Bring your palms together down. Bring your knee forward and down. Let's take the other leg up. Again, if your balance is off, leave it here, but just the only thing is don't leave it on the kneecap protect your kneecap. So once you've got that sole of your right foot pressing into the thigh, have your hands in your prayer position, opening up your tree, again find that drishti which is a sort of, a, sort of a, a gaze point that you can have, relax your eyes, inhaling and exhaling, opening up your tree. I open up my heart to all the possibilities. I give and receive love freely. Breathing in that positivity, that openness to receive, but also a willingness to give. Give to yourself this time, give to
to others the beautiful, valuable lessons we've learned in life, compassion, kindness, love. Inhaling, exhaling, palms together, bring the knee forward and then down. Excellent, now let's put our knees apart, hands on our hips, engaging that core, taking your bottom all the way to the back and let's just put our hands onto the earth. Engaging the core, flat back. So as flat as you can. Now let's take that left arm up, opening up the side. Opening up, inhaling, exhaling back to the ground. Let's do the other side, inhaling, back to the ground. Just one more time, inhaling, back to the ground. And then inhaling, back to the ground. Beautiful. Engaging the core, bending the knees, putting your hands on your hip points, sucking the core and all the way up. Now let's turn the front foot around, coming on to our warrior two. So you're in warrior two, just watch your knee. You can still see your toes below that knee and the knee is really pushing out to the side. Torso is on top of your hips, so we're not leaning over here. We're back up here, arms are strong. Look at the middle finger in your front hand, that is your drishti gaze. You breathe in power and strength. Now push down on the outer heel of your back leg, opening up. You've got this, this is your beautiful strong warrior. Excellent, opening up. Now let's open the palms, we're gonna straighten that front leg and come up Palms together, looking up, really bring the torso high, the length to your spine, back down. Can we do that one more time? Back up. Excellent. And then down. Getting your strength, getting your strength. Now what I'd love us to do is bring our fingers in front of the foot and open up into a side open. Holding in for one more inhale. Exhaling, engaging the core, coming back up to warrior two. Bring your arms up and let's flip over the feet to the other side. Perfect. Coming down to your warrior two, getting your drishti gaze. Breathing in strength, just making sure you can see those toes on the front foot. Push down the, all parts of the foot and the back, opening up. Breathe in power, strength. I have everything I need. I trust in the process of life. I'm exactly where I need to be. I inhale love and positivity into my day. Beautiful, opening those palms, breathing in. Exhaling. And really allow your body, your hands are active, pulling out of the sockets and bringing them all the way up and getting more length into that spine. Beautiful, and coming down to your warrior two. Now again, we're just going to do that, almost like your triangle twist, putting our fingers on the floor just in front of our foot. Opening up, excellent, it's a lovely side twist. Now engaging the core, coming up to warrior two, and straightening your feet. Now let's put our fingers, fingers, onto our hips if we like, still quite wide away, and we're going to come down, and we're going to bend, and we're going to come down, and really bring our spine long, tucking our tailbone in and bringing our knees out. Elbows down, pull your elbows back so your shoulder blades are coming together, palms towards me at the front. Sitting down. Really getting strength through those legs. Engaging the core, neck is long, chin is in. Inhaling and exhaling. Allowing this beautiful big opening for the body. Excellent, just one more inhale and exhale. And when you come up, we'll very gently bring your arms up. And if you can, down to your heart center. Perfect. Now to continue this opening, we're just gonna have our feet. Now on the side of your mat, you might even like to have them on your heels just on the mat and your toes just off the mat. Toes are pointing out a little bit higher than the heels. And then we're coming down for a squat. So pushing your feet in, softening those kneecaps, having a really long spine, and then coming all the way down to your squat. Now, if your squat is feeling pretty comfortable, if not, you can always do a little stretch.
stretching one side to the other. You might get a little adjustment through those knees or hips. And if you can, come to stillness. Use your elbows to push the, the knees apart and opening up those beautiful inner thighs, hip area. Now see if you can elongate the spine, open your chest towards me. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. And just two more breaths, inhale and exhale. We're doing a lot of openings here today that are really about letting out any old stagnation that we're holding in our hip joints, particularly around emotions, past emotions. Beautiful. Now let's just come over to one side. Hands on your feet, on your um, on your floor or on your mat, and then you can just come down and put your knees on the mat. <coughs> Excuse me, and come straight back into child's pose. <clears throat> and while you're in child's pose, I'm going to have a mouthful of water because I seem to have swallowed a dust a particle. So continue to breathe in and out of your child's pose. Letting go of anything that no longer serves you. And pushing your bottom into your heels. Beautiful. Excellent. Now coming back up on your knees, let's come onto your bottom. Open your legs really wide. Sit tall, and if you want to, you can always sit. You can roll up the back of your uh, mat a few times and sit on it, if that gives you elevation on your hip area. So sitting up. Having your legs as far apart as you can, and then just see if you can wriggle your fingers forward, spine is long, sucking in your core, and just see if you can come forward and then just bow down. Feet can be flexed, again, length in the spine and still opening through those legs. Inhaling and exhaling. Just one more inhale and exhale. Excellent, now coming back up to seat. Let's, for the purpose of this, let's have our foot, one foot in on your thigh, the other foot is flexed. Hands come up, see if you can relax this knee and fold over the long leg. Then holding here if you can. Inhaling and exhaling. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Exhale, see if you can bring your chest closer to that thigh. And if you don't, if you can't reach your toes, you can always have a strap or a scarf or something around that foot. Breathing in and exhaling. Excellent. Just one last inhale and exhale. Coming up. Now we're going to push in to this bent knee. We're going to take the same hand around the back. We're going to come over like we're coming up to stand. Push into that bent knee. Bent knee. Push on that foot and open up a little bit of a half warrior, uh, half wild thing. Pushing up the hips, opening up the body, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful big opener. Inhaling, exhaling, and then coming all the way down and we'll swap over the legs. Again, arms up and folding forward. And really allow the length, length, length thinking your spine. And again, when you're folding forward again, bringing in that core and getting length in the spine. Excellent. Just another inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Now coming up, let's take the bent knees arm behind you. Roll over to the bent knee, pushing down on your front foot and coming up to your half wild thing. Really pushing up the heels, the lower back, opening up your palm to the sky. Inhaling and exhaling. Excellent. Just one last big stretch in all directions. Coming back down to the mat. Beautiful. Now to finish, we're just going to have our legs whatever way they work for you. They can be long, they can be crossed. You can sit on your heels, have your hands into your Anjali Mudra, shoulders back and down, neck is long. And I just want you to take about five inhalations and exhalations in this pose and potentially say an affirmation that's going to carry you through your day, 
your light or your weak. All is well in my world. I'm exactly where I need to be. I trust in the process of love. I do everything with love and kindness. I live with an open heart. Inhaling the goodness that we offer ourselves and we offer each other. And exhaling anything that you no longer need. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.